Welcome back, Print Fam. Today, it's all about holographic film or the HP latex. So, as you can see here, we've got the holographic rainbow film. We do not have it loaded in the printer because I found that this has a really big memory. So, you can see here, I've just had it been sitting there and it doesn't like it. Not one bit. So actually what happened when I had it loaded, let's see if I can create a shadow enough here for you. Oh, it's dusty. Anyway, <laughs> um, I went to print, or even just turn the printer on when it was already loaded, and it had been in there overnight, and I had a head strike. So one thing to be aware of if you're running holographic is it is very memory prone. It's very thick, but it's not hard to run. So printing, there's no specific profile. You can use really any clear, or not clear, any glossy profile. I happened to use a 12 pass when I did it and the stickers looked great. I'm sure an eight pass looks good as well. Probably wouldn't go lower than that, but I tend to run most stickers at 12 pass. Um, but stickers turned out awesome. Now I have an advantage where I have the flatbed, it makes it super easy to read the registration marks and go to town cutting. If you have a roll cutter, the Graftech reads them. It's the Graftech 9000, which I'll link down below. It reads them just fine, no issues. The HP, let's talk about it. So the HP or SUMA reads with this little optical eye right here. Now, the way that it reads is trying to detect a variation in color. And because the holographic is so reflective, it's hard for it to read the registration mark. So sometimes you need to put um, like a matte clear tape to try to get that to go away. Um, I think there is even an option in Flexi now that you can actually print a border around the registration marks to make it a lot easier. Because like I said, it's really the only, the Graftec 9000 and any type of cutter that actually has a camera. So keep that in mind when you're cutting it um, or going to try to cut it, that you might need to get some clear masking tape or you might need to play around with your RIP software to put um, additional print around the registration mark so that your cutter can read it. This is the aftermath of what I just did. I did 2,000 one and a half inch stickers. Um, so you can see I printed them in sets of, I think it's like 112 or something. But the customer, super thrilled with them. I did another batch for another customer and they're ordering some. So it adds a really nice effect. Now one thing to be aware of that some people might complain about is there is a line in the media. So you can see right here on the roll, there is this line that runs across the media and that's about every, I think 24 inches. In all the stickers that I did, this did not really stand out. But if you're doing something super big, um, keep aware that the bright line media that I'm using, which I'll link in the description, does have this banding which may cause an issue for you. But for me, like I said, on the stickers that I've been doing, it wasn't even noticeable. So um, this is super nice that it works with the HP Latex. Um, again, really the only issue you might have is with cutting. So keep that in mind. It is expensive, but you can also sell it for a lot more money than a regular sticker. So to me, it was worth getting, worth doing, and I've already made more sales just by showing people the product. So again, this is a bright line. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. If you have additional questions though, let me know. If you want to support the channel and help make this content possible, you can join our membership, use the affiliate links down in the description, or just like and share. So, thanks Cam for editing, and we'll see you in the next one for fam.